Minecraft 1.20.5 is here and with it are item components. Item components allow you to customize your items to do whatever you want, like make this really cool tool that goes through everything really fast. Look at this stone and dirt and wood instamine with one tool. You can also till the ground with this and I also decided to make it powerful enough so that you can, you know, one hit an iron golem. This tutorial aims to explain what item components are and how you can use them in your own commands to get your own cool custom things like this one. Let's get started, why don't we? Whoosh. And let's start with what are item components. Let's pick up some items here that I just mined. Every single item has components. Over here, if I hover over the dirt, you can see that it has six components. Same as the cobblestone, same as the iron ingot. And this custom one, that one has 13 components. There are a lot of items in Minecraft and all of them do something slightly different than the other. And components is how Minecraft knows and understands what sort of thing it has to do. For example, a pickaxe does something very different than a shovel or, you know, TNT. Let's take, for example, this netherite pickaxe over here. As you can see, it has 10 components and that's the name of the item, but also things like attack damage and the attack speed. Bone meal over here doesn't have as many components because it doesn't really need to have that much custom data to it. Whereas these buckets with fish in it, they have seven components, one more than the bone meal, because they also store the entity that's inside them. In this case, that's an axolotl. Now probably the easiest way to get custom components added to your item is by renaming them in an MFIL. Look, let's just rename it that. Yeah, there you go. The unedited Big Eggs has 10 components, whereas the edited one has an 11th component. And that is, of course, the custom name that we just added. There we go. Basically, anything that makes a specific item in Minecraft, that specific item is because it has data stored inside those components. Now, there are a lot of components in Minecraft, and I'm not going to go over all of them, because that would simply take way too long. Instead, I'm going to show you how you can use components, so that if you find one that you want to use for your thing, then, um, then you know how to use it. So let's go! Whoosh. Now, it will be easiest, I think, to start with a command block. So let me grab the one that was already here and just move over here. This is um, a really good place to start, I think. And inside here, I'm just going to use the give command to give myself. Well, let's see, what item do we want to start with? Now, when, of course, you want to make your own custom item, it's a good idea to already know roughly what you want from the start. Now, a lot of these items already have right-click actions, for example. If you want a right-click action on your own custom item, you're going to want to start with something that already kind of has it. In our case, I wanted to till the soil, and so I want to start with a netherite hoe. Or I guess any kind of hoe would work, but a hoe. And so in here, I'm going to say netherite, and I'm just going to go tap complete down there, netherite hoe. There we go. And press the button, there we go, netherite hoe. Now, right now, there's nothing special about this netherite hoe, but we are about to change that. To see how it's trying to make a square bracket over here, you can actually do that. And I also close it, and now you can see in here is where we put all of our components. I've got a little bonus tip for you, by the way. Now, when working with components in Minecraft, you're going to work a lot with square brackets and with curly brackets. And something that I recommend you do is when you open something like this, you also close it immediately and then go backwards, and that way you don't forget to close it right after. Trust me, if you didn't already know this, you're going to thank me later. All right, so we're opening our square brackets here and closing them again. Now we're going to go in here, and here we have our attributes. And as you can see, there really are a lot of them, and a lot of them aren't really relevant for what we want right now. For example, let's have a look at these bees over here. These are really just for bee hives and bees nests. They store how many bees are inside, but we don't want bees inside our hoe, do we? Similar here for uh, bundle contents. I mean, I don't even have bundles enabled in this world. We're not going to use bundle contents. Something that we do want to do is maybe change the item name. Oh, look at that. There is a component for that. We can just tap complete it like this and we can fill in a name tool. There we go. Now, when I click this button, I'm going to get a netherite hoe that's named tool. And let's clear the chat so that you can see a little bit better. Look at that. That's now called tool. Or did you know you can make the shiny with an enchantment glint without actually applying enchants to it? There is an item component for it. 
enchantment glint over i tap to complete and then we just type true and now we have a hoe that is shiny with an enchantment on it and there are no actual enchants on it but that doesn't matter we've overridden that with this component over here now you might have already caught on to something to use components you just want to know the component that you're using and then it wants a little bit of data behind the equals let's make this epic because we're making the ultimate tool, remember? Setting the rarity to epic sets the name of the item to display as purple. It's really cool. Whoosh. Now to summarize what we've done so far, I've given myself a netherite hoe, and that's of course still default Minecraft behavior. And with components like item name, I can customize it. That's pretty cool, huh? Whoosh. Now let's get back to our earlier example with our netherite tool. And this is where it's going to get a little more tricky. For example, with item name, I've currently said it is tool, but that's only one word. What if I want multiple words? What if I say netherite tool? But now you can see there's an issue. We cannot have a space here. If it's one word, it's fine. If there is a space, it's not. Now, of course, there's a way to do this, but this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Minecraft accepts this because this is just one thing. However, this is two things and it doesn't want to accept that, doesn't work. So we need to tell Minecraft that instead of one thing, we want to have a string of things. And this is tricky because first we need to do this single quote thing. I don't really know what that's called in English, that's fine. And also you can see I've opened and closed it at the same time. Very important, that's my little trick, remember? Then we open the curly brackets and then we open up the double quote thingies. I also don't really know what those are called. In there we type text because this is text. Then we want to do colon and then more of those quote thingies. You can already see it's okay now because it's no longer red. And in here we can give it the name that we want. Netherite tool. There we go. Now you can see that we get netherite tool. Let me clear the chat over there. You can see two words. All of that trouble just so that we can have two words down there. But we can also have a lot of words in there right now. And so now it's the netherite ultimate tool. Except for it's not yet, but we'll get there. Don't worry. Now one component that I very much like to use is custom model data. Something important to know though is that in order to use that component, you need a resource pack that supports it. Because that custom model data component, what it does is it gives your item a custom model or a custom texture. Now I happen to have a research spec just for that and I can just type in custom model data one and hit done. And now you can see that it has a custom texture. Look at that, isn't that cool? Whoosh. As you can see, I made different ultimate tool textures for all the different types of hoe and you can get them right now on my Patreon. That's absolutely right. I'm starting a Patreon on which you can support me, but only if you want to and if you can afford to. That's the number one rule. I suppose there's two rules. Anyway, if you do, I'm eternally grateful. And also, you get these and more resources to come in the future. If you're interested in supporting me and or in these textures, well, head over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. Now, let's get back, quite literally, to making the ultimate tool here. Whoosh. All right, so far we've made this ultimate tool, but we're not quite there yet. It's not really ultimate yet. For starters, it doesn't instamine everything. Or in fact, it doesn't instamine anything. In fact, let's try this, shall we? Yeah, no, it doesn't one hit the golem either. It, the golem one hit me though. So uh, we have a few more things to work on, don't we? Let's start by turning our netherite ultimate tool into a tool that can harvest wood really easily and quickly and efficiently. For this, we're using the tool component. There it is. And all you have to do then is add rules. Of course, we want it very fast. So we do a speed 100. Correct for drops. True blocks, mineable axe. There we go. Now we can do wood really fast. Let's have a look, shall we? Go into survival. There you go, just like that. That was easy, wasn't it? In case you didn't hear the sarcasm, I understand that it's not really easy to do that. I mean, that's a whole bunch of stuff to remember and it's complicated. Now here's the thing, right? This over here is made for Minecraft to understand what exactly it is that you want. It's not really made for humans to understand. Like, it's difficult to work with this stuff, isn't it? Especially in one of those really tiny bars here. When you get a really long command, you just... Yeah, I don't know what all of this is anymore. 
it gets confusing, which is why it's fantastic that some people in the community have made third party tools that will help us with this stuff. Should I have mentioned in the beginning that you don't really need to remember much of what I'm saying here? Whoosh. Let me take you over to MC Stacker, which is a free and online tool that can help you get complex commands together. And there we are, this here is MC Stacker. And yes, I know it's not much of a looker, is it? But what it lacks in looks, it more than makes up for in functionality. Now for this, we wanna make sure that we have the version of 1.20.5, which spoiler at the time of recording this video, 1.20.5 isn't actually out yet. If you don't see 1.20.5 here or higher, you can go here to versions and click on 1.20.5 here. There we go, 1.20.5. Now over here, we can simply go to the GIF command, which is what we've been using this whole time, of course. We're going to ignore all of this for now. And over here, we can just type in netherite ho. It's going to select the netherite ho for us. Also, I realize this is a little bit tiny. Let me zoom in for you. There we go. Should be a little bit better to see. Now here we have our netherite ho. And most of these other things, they are all components that we can use on the netherite hoe. And I say almost all of them, because this one over here counts as just how many hoes you want. We're just going to leave it empty for now. But look, here you can see some of the components that we already used, like item name. We can hit S to show, and here we can type in the name for our ultimate netherite tool. There you go, and over here you can see it's generating that command for us as we type. Now once we're happy with this, we can hide it. We can use the custom model data, right? Oh, and remember we also set the rarity to epic? Look, this is that command, it's happening as we speak. Now some of this stuff is grouped together. For example, we used enchant glint over, right? Well, that's under enchants over here. Just set this to true. There we go, now it's over there, right? And of course for the tool component, we made a rule, remember? And over here we can specify which blocks you should be able to mine quickly. Now we can filter here on mineable. You can already see that all the things that are mineable with one of these tools are grouped together here. So let's do X and we click on the plus to add it over here. We can do speed 100. That's the one that I used. And then over here, correct for drops. If you set that to true, what that means is it will actually drop the item as if it's a correct tool. For example, if you mine stone with a tool that's not correct or your empty hand, it dro doesn't drop anything. You see that? Setting this to true means that it's the correct tool for, well, all of these, all well, everything that you can mine with an X. Now over here, we have a command. That's basically the command that we already had, only the components are ordered a little bit differently. In fact, let's just put um, our command in here and see if that works. It gives us pretty much exactly the same tool. Well, we've already used this one, of course. That's why that one has durability, but look, it's exactly the same thing. Look, we can go through this wood really fast. It's essentially the same thing, right? And now this one also has durability. Now, of course, we want to be able to mine stone and dirt as well, which as you can tell right now, we can't really do. And so back over in MC Stacker, we can add another rule. And we also go for mineable. We do a pickaxe and we set that to 100. And then we also make sure that this is set to true, just like with the other one. Oh, and we need to add the little plus over here. That's also important. And we can copy this command or just press the copy button, paste that into here. And then when we click it, we get a tool. It's, it's hidden in the inventory a little bit. But this one should now be able to mine stone really fast. And as you can see, it also drops the stone. Now, essentially we want to do the exact same thing for all the other tools that we want to be able to use here. So um, like a shovel and of course, another rule for the hoe. Now, of course, technically this is already a hoe. And so setting it to mine hoe blocks when it already can seems a little redundant, but remember, we're also changing the speed here. Now we can copy this, put this one in our command block, press the button. And so now we have a tool that can mine stone really fast. It can mine dirt really fast. It can mine wood really fast. I realize I don't have leaves for the hoe. So let me just quickly make that happen. Blah, 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 blah. You can see it mines uh, leaves really fast. There we go. And of course, because it's a hoe, it can still till the soil. Look, now there's one really big component that we're forgetting. Remember when I said we'd be able to one hit the golem? Well, the thing is, we still can't. Yep. Oh, hey, I took two hits that time. I'm, I'm, I've, I've grown stronger. Whoosh. So now we're getting into the really technical stuff. 
I'll fully admit that this kind of goes over my own head as well, but there is a component that's the attribute modifier component. And it's exactly around this time that I'm super happy that tools like MC Stacker exist. Because MC Stacker makes it super easy for us to add attribute modifiers. Look at that, we can just click this button. There we go. Whoa, we're getting this whole fancy screen now. Now there are a lot of attributes that you can, you can use here. We want to use attack damage. And we're going to set the amount to 100. That's a lot, but why not go overkill on the ultimate tool, right? I will confess, I don't fully understand what this means. But if you just do add value, it will set it to the value that you specified, which here is 100. And then here we can say when it applies the attack damage 100 modifier. Now, as you can see for most tools, it does that when it's in your main hand. And so let's do that here as well. There you go, main hand. And there is a whole bunch of numbers that I don't understand. This, uh, this is very special. Let's copy this command, paste it into here and grab it. Now you will see that this says when in main hand, you have plus 100 attack damage. So let's see if we can one hit the golem now. Boom, there you go. We did it. And so that concludes this tutorial on item components and how to use them. And which tool to use if you can't figure it out. Trust me, I can't always figure it out either. It's absolutely fine. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope you have a better understanding of item components now. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.